ones. Do you want to carry tweezies? All right. <laughs> Anyways, Graham is here for the week, so we're going to be filming, looking for snakes. Graham's uh, first early spring trip to Georgia, so hopefully we'll be able to turn up some good stuff. But... <laughs> Anyways, we're out here. We're gonna get after it today. I'm gonna flip this piece of trash real quick and uh, then we're gonna go hike some habitat and see what we can turn up. All right, guys, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon at this point. Uh, we had a bit of a late start because Graham didn't get here till noon and then we had to sit in traffic on our way out here. So definitely getting a later start than I was hoping, but it feels really great out here today. So we're gonna get after it. Just walk this nice creek side habitat and hope to see some snakes. You know, there we go. Are you cold? First snake of the day. <laughs> Little rat snake that's gonna bite Graham on the nose. Do it. I want you to. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's our first snake of the day. Nice, nice little long nuchal boy. Uh, little juvenile, probably a year old or so at this point. Wait, no, six months. <laughs> It hasn't been a year since baby snakes came out. Anyways, this guy was probably born last fall and this is his first spring, but really cool looking little rat snake. He's got that long nuchal stripe. But anyways, really interesting looking little juvenile rat snake. We're just gonna let him go after a couple quick picks. All right, guys, just lifted up this little piece of bark on the ground and found our next snake of the day. That little guy is a brown snake, just chilling. See if we can uncover him a little bit more. Look at that. Absolutely just chilling. Pretty cool. Nice and clean looking one too. All right, second snake of the day. They're making us work for him today. But nice little brown snake, we're gonna let him go. Oh man, these guys are awesome. I don't care what anybody says about rat snakes. They're tight. Look at how cool that face is. Are you gonna photograph him? Uh, I mean, I would if he sits. Yeah, I'm gonna just take a quick shot of the face. I wanna get good at that. All right guys, Whew. well there's rat snake number two for the day I just found. We're far enough east in Georgia today that these guys actually are what would have been formerly known as black rat snakes. They're now eastern rat snakes, but as you can see, this guy's probably only a year old or so, and uh, he's already got complete loss of most of his pattern. And this thing will be, for the most part, solid black when he's fully grown, so pretty cool. A lot different from the ones we see over near where I live uh, in the Atlanta area, where they're a little bit more gray rat, but really cool. All right, guys, here's one more look at this little darker rat snake before we put him back where we found him. Really clean little guy, uh, definitely nice to see. I was definitely expecting to see more corns than rats today, but I'm not complaining about it. Either way, nice looking little juvenile rat snake. Second one of the day. We're just going to take a couple more photos and put them back. Rock rings. Photograph. Look at this guy. Glistening in the sun now. Beautiful little snake. All right, we'll put you back. All right, everyone. Well, unfortunately, yesterday was a little bit on the slow side. One of the slower days we've had in the last couple weeks. But uh, anyways, it's the next morning now. Graham and I have a full day of herping ahead of us today. Uh, so we don't have to worry about half day constraints like we did yesterday. So we're going to get after it. We're going to go to a different area in North Georgia today and kind of do the same stuff. Walk around in some prescribed burn habitat and look for snakes basking and do a little bit of tin flipping too. So suck on this, Dave. All right, guys, we are out here in some beautiful, recently burned habitat hiking around. Uh, it feels like a perfect day, perfect sunny, but cool day for stuff to be out basking. So we're basically just gonna hike around and hopefully turn up some snakes. All right, guys, well, it's yet another day of noon 30 and we haven't seen a single snake somehow. Um, definitely not the best, but we're in some beautiful habitat right now and uh, makes it a little bit worse that we haven't seen anything because it all looks so good and we're just finding nothing. You have got to be kidding me. That is my third Scarlet King under a rock this week. And before this week, I had never found one under a rock. Holy crap, and it's beautiful too. There we go. First 
first snake of the day. Oh, money, money. And uh, the third Scarlet King I've ever flipped under a rock. Dude, I, I was thinking about that when we were down there. Those rocks were so money. It just gets, it doesn't get any less surprising when I see that under a rock. I probably, I think this guy likely just came up from brumation. You see he's got a couple of little blisters on him. Hasn't had his first shed yet. The snake will probably go into shed here very soon. Um, shed out, those blisters are clear up, and then he will continue on with his spring, try to find food. Really awesome way to start the day. Just what I was hoping for today, and that, like I was saying earlier, I was definitely starting to get frustrated that we hadn't seen anything. Because it's like, what, 1.30 at this point, and this is our first snake of the day? I mean, what on earth? All right, guys, here's a look at this beautiful Scarlet King snake I just flipped. Chilling on this rock. These guys are always some of the most cooperative snakes, and I absolutely adore everything about looking for them. And I'm so glad I've kind of gotten the hang of what kind of rocks they like to hang out under so that I can find them a little bit more regularly. Uh, either way, absolutely stunning. Lifer for Graham. First good snake of his trip, and hopefully not the last. We're gonna take some photos of this beauty. I'll give you one more look before we let him go and we're gonna put him right back under his rock. But absolutely stunning Scarlet King Snake here in North Georgia. You know who's real good at mixed, missed focus? Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, let's return this beauty to their rock. All right, you gotta be able to get in right there. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got our main target for the day, which was Scarlet King. So we are currently at a new spot. We drove about an hour away and are going to try to find a really early season milk snake to wrap up the day. Um, hopefully we'll at least see some kind of snake, but uh, it's very possible it's too early in the year to be hitting this area, but we're gonna find out. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day we just flipped. It's good to see the snakes are actually up here at least. It's kind of encouraging, so we're going to keep flipping, try to get a milk snake. This is only snake number two for the day. Kind of crazy. All right, he was under that one. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right. I was not actually expecting to get a milk snake today, too. That is nuts. Milk and Scarlet King today. <laughs> what is he doing? All right, guys. Well, that is awesome. We're going to flip the rest of these real quick. That is awesome. Milk Snake and Scarlet King in the same couple hours in North Georgia. Insane. All right, guys. So I did a little bit of photo comparing, and this is, in fact, the same baby milk snake that I flipped back in October. So this guy didn't grow much since we saw him the first time, if at all. But he is looking pretty healthy. Only got one little uh, little blemish on him from overwintering. So hopefully he'll be able to get a few meals in him here soon and continue growing into a healthy adult. Really awesome to be able to see a milk and a Scarlet King in the same day like this. It's been incredible. So we're just going to let this guy go back under his rock and see what else we can turn up. Maybe we'll get an adult. All right, I'm gonna pull this corner back towards you. Whoa, look at all the rats. Nice, boys. Fire ants. <laughs> Dang it, dude. All right, guys, we are winding up the day on this steep mountainside here in North Georgia, trying to flip some more rocks and either flip a Black King, hopefully, or another milk. But just flipped a little ring neck on our way up. It's a good sign that the snakes are up up here too. So we're going to keep at it and hopefully be able to finish this video strong. But nice little ring neck to start this part of the day. Um, we are now up in, um, on a pretty steep hill here that we are trying to hike up to find uh, timber rattlesnakes, to find black king snakes, and to find more milk snakes. Um, the first snake of the day Noah flipped under a rock here is just a southern ring neck snake. Um, it's not really, really that special, but um, it is another snake for the day, so we are going to keep on moving, hopefully find something else. Um, just take a second to show off the belly. On what is this? <laughs> All right, I just flipped a worm snake and Graham flipped an unidentified snake. <laughs> yeah, that's a worm snake, snake dude. <laughs> we got two worm snakes. Nice. I had no idea what he, I thought, 
Dude, worm snakes are weird looking snakes. Yeah, they're cool. I love their faces, dude. They have like little flat shovel heads. My life or worm snake. My life or worm snake came from worm snake rock. Oh, true. Yeah, so I don't have Forgot to about that. Them. All right, could end up being our last snake of the day. Nice ring neck here on this mountaintop. We're gonna keep flipping until it starts getting dark on us, but that's coming fast. Anyways, back to your rock. All right, guys, here's our next snake in C2. Nice little smooth earth right here under this rock. I'm gonna pull him out. This is actually a lifer for Graham, so I'm gonna grab him real quick. In a lot of places, these are one of the more common fossorials I see under rocks, but I don't really see them all that often here, so it's kind of neat. It's a good size ring neck. Number four or five for the day at this point, I think. This guy's a real good looking little belly. And he's good sized. But either way, another little ring neck. All right, guys, well, unless we see something miraculous on the way back to the car, I'm probably gonna wrap this up here with a little bit of scenery from the habitat we're hitting. Absolutely perfect for milks, timber rattlesnakes, all that. But uh, no luck today. So we, uh, we did have a good day all around. Just didn't see anything at this spot. Um, it's definitely not every day you get to see a milk snake and a scarlet king in the same day, so this is actually the first time I've done that, I believe, so definitely a banner day either way. Got a couple lifers for Graham and had a blast doing it, so anyways, if we see anything else on the way back to the car, I will definitely show you, but if not, I'm probably going to wrap this up here. So we just flipped this guy, really unexpected, and that is by far the biggest marbled salamander I have ever seen. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look at it from the side, dude. Alrighty, well that's a good way to end the video if we don't see anything else. Really cool looking, gigantic marbled salamander here on this mountaintop. Really unexpected flip, but I'm not going to complain about it. Anyways, we're going to make our way back to the car. And if we see anything, I will keep you guys updated. But very likely going to be the last herp for the day. All right, guys, this is definitely the last turp of the day. Just flipped this nice, big, slimy salamander under a board. He's a handsome guy. He's got some real nice little white streaks on his sides, but nice, big, slimy. Don't see too many of these guys up here, but uh, I think this is actually the first one we've seen today, so I figured I'd show it to you. Um, but either way, nice, big, adult, northern slimy salamander here in North Georgia to end the day. So we're gonna put this guy back and uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, it's been a really fun couple of days here with Graham. And uh, he's got a couple more days left, so we're going to make the best of it. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.